What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Homes by Kanjin here. Today, we're within the city of Frisco, Texas, checking out this beautiful traditional style home behind me. Home was built in 1996. You're about 5,662 square feet. Home feature five bedroom, four and a half bath. You have a beautiful pool that overlook a lake, a custom primary bathroom, gourmet chef kitchen, beautiful grand entryway as you walk into your foyer. List price of this property is $2,150,000. I want to say thank you so much to the listing agent, Michelle Campbell with Coldwell Banker. Homes by Kanjin here. Let's take a tour. Welcome in everyone. So as I said on the exterior of this property, this home was built in 1996, but it does not look like it was built in 1996. This thing has been reconstructed and redesigned to showcase its true potential and also beauty. Now, while we're standing here within the foyer, I want to point out some things that you guys may or may not see. You have a gorgeous wrought iron design on your staircase end that runs all the way up top to your balcony accent that overlooks into your formal uh, living space. You have these beautiful toasted barrel uh, hardwood flooring that runs within the master and also the first bedroom on this first floor. Within this foyer, one thing that I truly do love, you have these gorgeous chandelier up top, tray ceiling, crown molding accent on your tray ceiling. And this thing is just, I mean, just truly amazing. I love the ceiling height. You're about around 26 feet within the ceiling height. Truly spectacular. Now, as you walk over here on the first bedroom of um, this property, you have again, these uh, hardwood flooring, plantation shutters, modern uh, fan fixtures up top, can lighting. With these plantation shutters, you have ample amount of natural light that kind of seep through uh, these windows. Love the space. You have your uh, bay window accent over here, which are utilizing as your functional secondary seating area. You have over here a very utilizable space. You have built-in cabinetry up top, a desk space. Walking over here, you have your first bathroom. You have a beautiful porcelain tile design for the flooring. Carrera quartz accent for your uh, counter space. Now walking over here, you have your walk-in shower. I love this pattern that they have for the backsplash of this walk-in uh, shower. You do have these Carrera uh, quartz accented for your bench seating within this walk-in shower. You have your glass slider over here. And then these beautiful stainless steel design on your faucet head and fixtures. Walking out of this bedroom, you're walking back within this beautiful, I mean, Trent, look at this thing. Is this not one of the most beautiful entryway we've seen in some of the houses? I think it's the most. It is. It it's truly is. Grand, for sure. It is grand. I mean, this chandelier and just the height that you're receiving within this foyer is truly spectacular. Over here, you have your designated wine area on my left hand side. I like this. People at this price point, they do collect wine. So if you are a wine connoisseur, this is truly amazing. As you walk within, let's say you have guests coming over. You have some of your most expensive wine being displayed right here as you walk in, overlooking this beautiful uh, grand entryway. I mean, this thing is truly amazing. Walking over here, you have your formal dining. I love this formal dining. Um, one thing that you know about me and what I love is with formal dining, I love when there's no walls, right? It adds within the space. Uh, by having the kitchen right behind me, which you're gonna go ahead and take a look at, but within this formal dining, I just love the fact that it incorporates the kitchen, the butler pantry, and everything else. So if you're entertaining, seamless flow you have within this formal dining. Now, one thing I love about this formal dining, I love the chandelier that they have up top. I mean, this light fixture is exquisite. Can lighting, you have these beautiful uh, crown molding accent within your dome-like finishing within the ceiling. Behind me over here, you have your butler pantry area. Again, within these gorgeous Carrera quartz countertop, you have your wine fridge. So not only do you have a designated wine area, you also do have a wine fridge for you to store additional wine. You have your uh, raised cabinetry with your glass see-through display. Over here is gonna be your designated uh, laundry space, great size laundry space. And again, I love how they're carrying over this Carrera quartz countertop throughout, which you're gonna receive throughout the whole duration of this home. Your subway tile, nice size shaker cabinets up top for storage. Now behind me, this is the heart of every single home. As you guys know, I love 
kitchen. Why? I love to cook. That's one of my specialty. I do love to cook. Uh, behind me, kitchen space. Love this little miniature size island that they have. Again, Carrera quartz countertop. You have these beautiful state-of-the-art Thermador six burner inlay cooktop. I love this ceramic tile design that they have for your backsplash, your hood vent, just truly exquisite within the space. You have your double stacked stainless steel Thermador uh, oven display over here. And then your sink, stainless steel washer. One other place that I love about this home is your wet bar. Now the reason why I love this wet bar, I'm not a huge drinker. Um, I don't really drink all that much, but if I was to, I do love your designated wet bar that you receive over here. Not only do you have your little storage for say ice maker and everything else, you have your little miniature size sink, uh, plantation shutters, and then you have these raised see-through glass uh, cabinetry that you're gonna receive. Now come in with, within your grand gathering space. I love this space. I mean, just look at this. Look at the amount of natural light that you receive within this space. You have your designated area for your TV, over here you have your uh, marble finishing accent on your fireplace, and then you have these beautiful double-sided windows that you're gonna receive uh, throughout this gathering space. And just look at the ton of natural light that you receive. And this grand scheme of this gathering space is truly nice. I mean, it doesn't feel congested. It feels nice, and then you have these beautiful, spectacular views of your, your lake behind you, your pool. I mean, just showcasing this beautiful backyard and entertaining space that you have behind you. This is truly amazing. Now, walking over here, we're going to check out your secondary. So not only do you have one gathering space over there, you also have a formal gathering space over here. You do have two entryway, I should have pointed that out earlier, you do have two entryway to go ahead and head up to the second floor. This is the back entryway, and then you have your additional bedroom up there, but this is gonna be your back entryway aside from the one that you saw within the front. Over here, this is gonna be your formal seating area. I love this formal seating area. And this space is truly spectacular. I like this because if you don't wanna utilize that area, you have the option to use this area over here. And one thing that I love about this area is the ceiling height. You have coffer ceiling with your can lighting up top, and this thing is just truly amazing. I mean, just look at this overall space. I love the windows. I mean, look how beautiful these big display window are, uh, is. You have these beautiful um, crown molding accent detailing on the window itself, double-sided window. You have your see-through fireplace that leads into your um, office space, which you're gonna go ahead and check out after this. Uh, but just want to point out these beautiful marble finishing accent behind your fireplace. You have the shelving um, display over here for you to showcase any, say, vase, art pieces, whatever it may be. I do like that. You have a little uh, lighting, can lighting up top as well. And then you have some storage area underneath it. Now walking over here, you have your designated office space. I love this office space. Um, I love the white accent that they went ahead and did. You have your wooden mantle over here. Again, tons of storage space and these beautiful um, coffer ceiling that you have. And you do have some uh, speakers within the ceiling throughout this entire home. So you do have some speakers over here. But just look how beautiful this uh, office space is. We're gonna go make our way to the primary suite of this property. Now, before we come in, I wanna showcase these beautiful French doors that you have over here. So I do love the French door accent. You have this little art display piece center over here with your can light up top. So on my left hand side, you have your designated wet bar and I love this quartz accented detail wall in that they have. Um, and these, <laughs> these miniature size sink that they include with every wet bar is super funny and kind of cute. Uh, but behind me, this is the entirety of the overall primary suite. You have beautiful tray ceilings up top, speaker within the ceilings, can lights. I love these uh, modern uh, black accent of fan design. And then these bay windows. I mean, they have a stage with a seating area, which will be perfect for you to go ahead and utilize that. Uh, but these bay windows that kind of showcase this lake in the back, you have your neighbors, you have your backyard, and then in front of you, now this is kind of neat. I love these dual windows that they have with these uh, 
stone finishing accent and wall where your fireplace is. But behind this is these windows. And I love how I overlook the pool area and then also your overall backyard. Your, square, your backyard actual acreage is about 0.273 in the acreage size great size space but this pool i mean this pool is just truly amazing clean neat very very nice i do like this and then you have over here carrera uh, finishing accent accords design underneath your fireplace my other favorite part of every single home is the primary bathroom and this one is truly amazing first thing first i want to showcase these beautiful french doors that you have within the entrance of this primary you have these beautiful porcelain tile that runs throughout the entryway of this master or say primary uh, bathroom leading within your uh, primary walk-in closet. But before we go further, I just want to showcase these beautiful, again, Carrera. This Carrera uh, quartz countertop is truly amazing. I mean, it just, I love the detail on it. I love the white accent. I love these little patterns that they have within the, uh, the, the countertop itself. Undermounted sink. You have your walk-in shower over here, marble flooring, Carrera bench accent uh, seating area with your porcelain backsplash tile, and you have your Aston uh, waterfall shower head with your multiple sp uh, sprayer display over here. Now leaving the shower, we're actually gonna make our way over to your standalone sunken tub. And I, I mean, this thing is just truly amazing. I love this. Not only do you have this beautiful uh, stainless steel accented for your, uh, your faucet head, but just the grand tub that you have within this space is just amazing. And then these customized wall design within the mirror finishing accent is, I don't even know what this guy was going for, but man, this thing is truly spectacular. I love the attention to detail. Uh, this is gonna be the missus. Uh, say maker vanity and secondary say sink area over here Toiletry areas over there, uh, but walk-in closet space. This thing is truly nice. It wraps all the way around. So it starts off over here and As I'm walking, this is the entirety of this primary master closet Just look how grand this is And now we're out I mean, truly nice. <laughs> Trench is running that closet. That's crazy. Look, 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 wait, let's, let's showcase that again. Okay, I'm way over here. Look how long this thing is. And there is Trent. So yeah, that is the overall primary uh, bathroom closet. So on the outside, Obviously, we told you guys this property has an amazing pool and I'm finally happy to showcase this pool. But before we go further, showcasing this overall backyard and the lake behind it, you have your outdoor kitchen grilling area over here. I love this little water feature accent that they have. I mean, just look at this pool makes me want to go ahead and go for a swim. Like I want to just jump within this pool, but we're not going to go ahead and do that. So over here, this is the window display that we saw within the primary uh, bedroom. And again, these shrubs that they have over here just kind of ties in the overall backyard space. I'm gonna fall, thank God I didn't. Uh, this overall ground that you see back here has been redone and repolished within the backyard. You have some green area over here. And as you saw within the primary, this is gonna be the bay window accent overlooking your beautiful lake pond that you have within the back. I mean, just look at this thing. Look how peaceful this space is. There's some running trails that actually run um, back here. So if you want to go for a walk or say, you know, a run, you truly can. You have a running path that runs and loops around the overall community uh, that we're in. Uh, I do like also the infinity edge pool that you have over here. And I mean, this pool just makes me want to go ahead and go for a swim. This overall backyard, look how fun and entertaining space you have. I mean, truly a grand space. I love the window accent. I love how beautiful this pool is. I love, I mean, this, I can't, this adjective that I'm using, this thing is truly amazing. The, the subdivision we're in, uh, Lakes on Le Legacy Drive, I don't even know what to say. My brain is wire, wire. <laughs> I really don't, I'm like speechless. I just wanna go for a swim. It's hot right now in Texas. And this pool is calling my name. But we're not gonna go ahead and do that. 
We're actually gonna walk inside and showcase the second floor of this beautiful property. So walking up to the second floor of this property, um, when we were standing in the front earlier, I showcased how beautiful this uh, entryway was. Now going up top, this thing from here where I'm standing is truly amazing. I mean, the amount of attention to detail that you have just within your front foyer is truly nice. These chandeliers, wrought iron design on your staircase leading up, these beautiful um, barrel wood accent of flooring that you have on the staircase in. I mean, this thing is truly nice. And just standing here and overlooking, like Trent is making his way up top, but just overlooking this space. When he gets here, I want you guys to see how beautiful this foyer truly is. Look at this. That is your entryway of this property. And look how gorgeous this property entryway is. I mean, it's just truly nice. Not only do you have a nice, beautiful open uh, foyer with high ceiling, but look at overlooking your uh, secondary formal seating area. You have this beautiful Julia balcony over here, but looking down from the Julia balcony, this is your view. I mean, the coffer ceiling that you had, your can lining, these beautiful double-sided window with the crown molding accent. This upstairs space, aside from the kitchen and the primary, truly is one of my favorite, just cause the amount of accent that you have up top here that you get to see is, is, is truly nice. Uh, before we go further within the space, I wanna showcase your designated movie area or say game space. Um, a lot of these homes that we look at tends to have movie areas and this one does have one. You have these beautiful plush carpets. Um, you have a Julia balcony entryway over here with French doors, storage area that leads into your, uh, what is it? Uh, attic. Your attic. Uh, I'm losing my mind right now. Thank you, Trent. I appreciate you. Uh, over here is going to be some uh, storage area, see-through uh, glass um, cabinet space. Additional attic storage area over here. But I want to show you how beautiful this front yard is. Look at the curb appeal and your landscape design that you have. This is truly peaceful. I love what they did with some of these uh, flowers and shrubs that they have for your overall curb appeal design. Walking back within your designated movie area or say game room, whatever you like to utilize it for. Uh, this space, I like to call it like a little Harry Potter room, uh, but it's your storage area. You can put things that you don't want anyone to see or just utilize it for storage. I don't know. I call it a Harry Potter room because I would just put my unwanted kids that I don't want in there. That's a joke, guys. Knee slapper. My dad joke of the day. Now walking over this way, we're gonna check out the other bedrooms on this level. Uh, so behind me, you have the other bedroom. This is gonna be the secondary staircase in to head up to the uh, second floor. Now within this room, again, gray size room, crown molding, beautiful window accent, letting in some natural light, modern fan. You have your storage closet over here, or your walk-in closet, rather. You have two of them, actually. Um, over here, you have a Jack and Joe uh, walk-in bathroom, porcelain tile design. You have your uh, tub and shower combo with your beautiful uh, ceramic tile subway accent. Uh, linen closet over here. And then under mountain sink with your uh, stainless steel fixtures and your Carrera quartz countertop. Leaving this bathroom, you're within your uh, secondary bedroom within this space. Walk-in closet over here on my left-hand side with these beautiful plush carpets that you're gonna receive in both uh, bedrooms. Uh, walking out of this room, you have your secondary flex space, as I was saying. Um, in front of me is gonna be your uh, wet bar area. So you have nearly, what, we saw it, three? three wet bars. Uh, so this will be the third wet bar over here. You have these beautiful mirror accented uh, subway like tile um, design over here, miniature size sink, and then you have your wine fridge over here. Now, one thing that I like about this secondary uh, story, uh, second story is your Julia balcony that you have that overlooks your backyard and just look how nice and stunning this thing is. 
I love the lake in the back, the pool. I mean, truly an amazing attention to detail. Now over here is going to be your designated flex space. I love this space, secondary seating area or say game area, whatever you like to utilize it for. You do have these beautiful speakers within the ceilings and then you have crown molding uh, running up top within the ceiling accent. This is going to be the last bedroom on the second floor. This one has its own attached bath to it, just like the bathroom or say bedroom on the first floor rather. You have tray ceiling, crown molding, modern uh, light fixtures with the fan. And then behind me, you're gonna receive porcelain tile uh, for the flooring. And then you also have your tub and shower combo with your uh, porcelain design for your uh, backsplash. Again, Carrera um, accented quartz counter, under mounted sink with the stainless steel accented for your faucet head. Leaving this bathroom, one of my favorite things I love about this bedroom up here is basically this beautiful balcony that you have that overlook the pool and also the lake area behind you. I love this balcony on the second floor. I mean, just look how grand this space is. Overlooking the lake behind you, your pool, your overall backyard. I mean, just peaceful, peaceful space. And you get to see the overall subdivision and you have an amazing view of your lake in the back. We saw some amazing feature within this home from the grand entryway within your foyer, the wine cellar area, the backyard overlooking the lake, the pool, the custom primary bathroom, the overall primary bedroom in general, the gathering space, the kitchen. I mean, this home had truly an amazing spots that we looked at. If you like this video, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. You can check out some other videos that we shot. Over here, we did a property that we shot in Fort Worth that was listed at 1.9 million. Going forward, we have more amazing home tour coming for you guys within Dallas and also Vegas. Homes by Kanjin here. Remember, quality is in the service. Peace. Me and my Dougie. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Make out with me, like, come on. Yeah.